So I heard you want to smell good without breaking the bank. Well, you came to the right place. My name is Azalea, this is Eve Nora Azalea, and we talk all things beauty, fashion, fragrance, and travel, and pretty much whatever else we want to talk about. But today, I'm going to bring some amazing scents at an affordable price. These are scents that every price range will be able to afford, and also, and also, okay? I have a scent for every scent lover, so just stay tuned and keep on watching. channel before you know that I pride myself on smelling amazing I love to smell good but I don't always want to spend an arm and a leg to do that right and so I thought that I would do kind of affordable budget friendly fragrances that are still really good high quality fragrances that are accessible easy to find and are going to leave you smelling like that girl okay so I want to start off with a scent that is only $17.96 and that is Zara Hibiscus. When you smell this scent, think sun-drenched, sweet, fruity skin. I know that sounds crazy, but what's so nice about this, first of all, the packaging is minimal, right? It's not doing too much, it's not doing too little. It's just this nice, transparent, gradient pink bottle. And what's nice about the scent is it is fruity. At the open, you get like bitter orange, mandarin, and then in the middle, you kind of get passion fruit, you get mango, you get these fruity elements, but it dries down on my skin to this beautiful vanilla musk. So the base of the scent has like warmth. It has that beautiful kind of um, skin, but sensual. Skin, but sexy. It's giving yes, baby. Okay. <laughs> I love this scent because I'm going to spray it. Uh, I love this scent because it's just juicy, it's fruity, but it's approachable. And it's one of those scents where you can pretty much get away with wearing this like any time of the year. And not only that, but it also is very affordable, right? This bottle is, I want to say 3.4 ounces. No, it's three ounces, which is, that's like a $170 perfume, $120 perfume. If you want, if you're going for one of the high end luxury brands, it could get really pricey. And I love that Zara makes it affordable, but also it is a good quality scent. I love to mix this on a day where I'm using a body wash that is a vanilla based scent. And then I will put some Vaseline on and I will go in with like a very heavy vanilla musky scent and then put this on top. This is a really good layering scent. It has the ability to last. But this is one of my go-to scents for, you, you know, like if I am going to bed, because I do wear perfume to bed, I'm crazy. If I am um, just going on errands, this is a scent that I find myself often reaching for. This is my second bottle, and I got this one when I was on vacation in Florida. I absolutely, you can't go wrong. It's only $17, so why not? <laughs> Why not, okay? My next scent is another Zara scent. This is Violet Blossom. It is also only going to run you $17.90. And first of all, the color. Get into it. It is this deep, pretty, uh, purple, black almost. <laughs> this pretty opaque bottle. What I like is that this scent is different. It has a base of vanilla, but with almost like an almond cookie undertone. It's like a vanilla almond base. And at the head of the scent, you get those fruity notes, you get a little magnolia, you get a little bit of apple, like crispiness. Um, this scent is really for the girl who, you wanna be girly, but you kinda wanna be like grown up too, right? It has like this very grown, pretty undertone. If you are, you know, going out for a night with the girls, this is a really good scent to reach for. If you were going, like I wore this, let's see, I wore this on New Year's Eve for like a gathering that I had at my house and people were, my mom, girl, she's like, girl, what are you wearing? My best friend is like, oh my gosh, that smells so good. What is it? And they could not believe that I only spent $18. Well, $17.90 plus tax, okay? 
they couldn't believe it because it really does a good job projecting and i want to say i layered this with i have a dior perfume i want to say it's called jador I use Jador Dior as the base and I put this on top. I really like to use affordable fragrances to almost increase the longevity of like a more expensive fragrance. It's almost like a, just a squirt all over. Like <laughs> I literally bathe myself in perfume. I'm obsessed with perfume. And if you guys really uh, would like it, I would do a video to um, give you some tips and tricks on how to make your perfume last and thing, different things that you could do with affordable perfumes and otherwise or perfumes that don't last on the skin. Uh, I will be happy to do a video about how to get those perfumes projected, how to get them to last a long time. But I don't have that problem with this perfume. Again, only $17.90. Can you go wrong with that? I don't think so. It is oh, so beautiful. It smells amazing. Amazing. This next fragrance that I want to share with you guys is actually a perfume oil. In this last year, I have gotten so obsessed with perfume oils. Specifically, I like the ones from Nest usually. But I told myself, you know what, I'm going to try something new. I'm going to dive in and, you know, give something else to try. I've heard through TikTok and just through research and looking at different perfume oils, I'm constantly seeing this bad baby on the list this is a swiss arabian perfume which is an arab perfume house um this one is called Le Ali rouge it's the red version the normal or the average one it's just called Le Ali. um the rouge is a bit different now what i like about perfume oils is that they do a really great job sticking to the skin and i tend to love the way that the oil um, almost mixes with my body chemistry. It does something a little different than just a perfume that's made of alcohol. This one is special in that it's very, very juicy. It's very fruity. I mean, smelling it right now makes me want to put it on. <laughs> like, it smells like juice. It almost smells drinkable. And when I, I love to wear this um, when I am going to like a little meet for my son you know, like one of his swim meets. I love to wear this around like other women. Men love this because it's just fruity. It's girly. Uh, I also find myself reaching for this when I'm going somewhere tropical. If you want to smell like a sweet, fruity, juicy candy, this is it. The base of this is, I want to say, the base of Leali Rouge is like this peach rose um it's like a juicy fruity musky kind of floral scent i don't even know how to explain it you have to smell this one for yourself it is only 24 dollars um again the base notes are peach and rose and then in the middle you kind of get like some beautiful coconut you get a little bit of hibiscus it's definitely more of a um spring scent so if you really like getting your your fragrances together for spring this is one you're going to want to invest in i also like love the applicator i hope you can see this you it's just a little wine you poke it in there you get the oil in there and then you just rub it into your skin it is really good um it's really good if you mix it with like a creamy almost like body oil or a creamy body butter it lasts forever that way when i added to just I tend to not just wear my scents on just dry skin I usually put my scents on right after the shower and that also is a quick tip for how to get your scents to last but this is so gorgeous and my favorite part is it almost has like a papaya tropical lemon scent but it's one of those scents that you can get away with as the weather starts to warm up you can get away with this on a rainy day it's very approachable and again it's $24 on Amazon. Girl, if you don't use Amazon Prime to get this to your house today, I don't know what you're going to do. I don't I don't I don't see a future for you in fragrance. Okay? Buy it and you'll love it. I if you love um fruity and almost like fresh scents, you have to try her at least once. At least. At least. So, I'm going to switch directions really quick and just share this perfume oil with you it's so different so oriental so beautiful look at this bottom bottom get into it okay it's similar to the Ali rouge this is the original Ali. now i'm going to tell you this baby 
You're going to smell her through the wall. This is the strong scent. It's going to be on you tomorrow. When you wake up in the morning, you're going to be like, I am just, what is that smell? It's still on me. It's sticking, okay? This, you're going to smell her, okay? There's no getting around it. Now, if you love a good dark, almost, well, let's say loud. <laughs> if you love a good oud scent, if you love almost like a unisex leaning scent, you'll love her. This is for the girl who likes that like dark masculine energy. This is for the girl who gets a headache from sweet. Um, this is for the girl who wants a complex smell. What I really love about this oil is as the day, as the day wears on, it gets more complicated. It changes it's in the way that it appears in the skin chemistry. This loves a dark crook of the elbow, okay? It loves a warm neck. It loves in between the bosom, okay? It is one of those scents that it sticks with you. And I will say that it is something that you have to like this type of scent to really like it. If you like those masculine or unisex scents, if you love a good oriental scent, you'll love this. The base is this beautiful oud and lang lang. Um, you're definitely going to smell the oud. It has amber in it, so it's a very warm scent. Um, and I also, they top it off with like a little bit of fruity. And it's hard to find the fruity in this, but you can smell it. It has, I want to say like, I want to say juicy black currant, almost like blackberry. I will have to look up the notes, but it's also only $24. You can find this on Amazon. Very approachable. If you want to get into Arabian scents, I highly, highly recommend Swiss Arabian, they make really good approachable scents that at a, a very affordable price. If you want to get into perfume oils, I recommend Swiss Arabian. They also have a pink one that's really, really good. I just haven't had it in a while. Um, or another good Arab like scent because they're just known to have those loud, not, I'm not scary scents. <laughs> they're known to have unique depth in their sense they're known to have unique scents um Leali Rouge is great Leali is great Swiss Arabian is a really good place to start if you want to get into like louder or Arab scent um I'm trying to think of the other brand let me think oh Kayali Kayali is a really good perfume brand to get into but I highly highly suggest that you look at the Leali um, Swiss Arabian perfume oils. If you don't like a unisex scent and you, you prefer like a nice girly scent that I'm going to say stick with the pink one. I have to find out the name or the red one. I'll link the pink one down below. So, so far I've given you guys four amazing scents to try. If you've tried any of these scents or if you are excited to try one of these scents, leave me a white heart down below and tell me which of the four scents you're digging so far. Now, y'all know I love some vanilla. I love a vanilla scent. And I'm not talking about a cheap vanilla. I'm talking about a beautiful, high quality, creamy vanilla, okay? I tried something a little bit different with this one. This Swiss Arabian Shagaf Oud scent is gorgeous. What's, first of all, get into the bottle. I got fingerprints all over it, but look at the, they put so much thought into their packaging. I love the gold bar look. It's so beautiful. It's so simplistic. It literally just says Shagaf Oud Swiss Arabian on it and I'm here for it. Okay. It looks beautiful on my vanity. What, what I love about this set is it takes vanilla and it puts a twist on it. This is Oud and vanilla mixed together to have a beautiful, fragrant, spicy baby. <laughs> and this scent you're going to smell vanilla and oud at the base. In the middle, you're going to get a little bit more of that oud and you're in, in saffron. And I know you're saying saffron azalea. Saffron and a perfume? Yes. Saffron. I know it's different. It brings something interesting and spicy, but in a very um, light way. Usually when you get like a spicy perfume, it's very thick. It's very heavy. It's very... Um, 
long wearing and I would say this is also long wearing but that saffron in it brings a lightness to the spice you're also going to get stay with me here praline now when do you get praline as a note in a scent it's so different and the, one of the beautiful things uh, one of the beautiful things about this scent is it warms up to the skin in such a different way um, on my skin sometimes it's very vanilla depending on what else I pair it with. Sometimes it's very spicy. It's going to stick with you. And this is for um, the girls who like a very, um, st not strong, but a very noticeable night scent. This is really good for night. It's also really good for winter. If Picture yourself in uh, the middle of the park at a tree lighting and you got a hat, a nice wool hat on and a nice beautiful wool scarf and you're wearing a Norma Kamali coat, right? That's cinched at the waist. Baby, you wearing her. This is the girl that you're wearing to that event, okay? I really like it. Again, it's only like $34, $35 on Amazon, I want to say. You can also find it on the Swiss Arabian website and I will link it down below. But definitely read the reviews. It is an acquired scent. It's different, but it's so worth it. It's so worth it. So, let's talk one of my favorite fragrances of all time. And y'all are going to say I'm so immature, but I love Pink Sugar by Aqualina. If you know, you know. That girl, she is here to stay. If she has no fans, I'm dead. If she has one fan, it's me. I love a Pink Sugar. And I know it is not for everybody, but I was thinking to myself, what about for, what can I find or what can I suggest for those girls who want vanilla? They might like pink sugar. Maybe they wore pink sugar in the past, but they want something more mature. I got it. I have it right here for you. This is Al Rehab Soft. It is another Arabian perfume house. And if pink sugar had an older sister, it would be Al Rehab Soft. Okay. What's so nice about this scent is it is that creamy, warm vanilla scent, but it also has like this beautiful citrusy element. Think about if you had a marshmallow, a vanilla favorite marshmallow. <laughs> Can I talk? Think about if you had a vanilla marshmallow that had a squeeze of lemon on it. <laughs> I know that sounds ridiculous. She's definitely giving creamy vanilla marshmallow realness with a dash of citrus, okay? And the thing that I really appreciate about this scent is it's very affordable. First of all, it's $16, Amazon. Uh-huh. It's very affordable. The second thing is it's not shy. Uh, I feel like I spray this and it's loud. And it stays loud for quite a while. I could get probably about four hours of wear out of this and then I'm going to reapply it, but I'm okay with that because it's $16. It's $16 for an ounce. Where'd I do that at? I usually spend about no less than $62 for an ounce of perfume at Sephora. Not knocking it. I'm a perfume lover. I'm willing to spend a coin, okay? But if you are like new to scents, if you love vanilla and you want to expand the your range in vanilla, you definitely have to have one of her. If you love vanilla and you want to expand, expand your range of vanilla, I would say you also need Shaga Food because it is just such a different type of vanilla scent. But if you're a vanilla lover, you want to try something different, you want to go to the affordable side, you want to save some cheddar and live better, you need her. You need this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fragrance by, by Owl Rehab. This again, Owl Rehab Soft. Don't sleep on her. I am obsessed with Sol de Janeiro Skin Mists, or I guess you would just call it a perfume mist, <laughs> but I'm literally obsessed. I have almost every single one that they've released except for the blue. What I am crushing on right now is this Brazilian Crush Chirosa 68. I got the big bottle. Usually, I want to say they come in like eight ounces. This is, let's see. Oh no, this is eight ounces. I think usually they come in four ounces. It's usually half the size. This is the eight ounce bottle. It's doing what it's doing. It's pretty big. And 
this scent is perfect for the gym it's perfect for a quick spritz and go it's perfect for you know a grocery run or drinks with friends at a house at their house um i like it because it's very affordable i want to say i spent 28 bucks on this maybe um it has brazilian jasmine it also is going to have pink dragon fruit which i think is such a unique ingredient for a fragrance you're going to get lychee you're going to get hibiscus you're going to get a beautiful beautiful open of uh or i'm sorry a beautiful dry down of sheer vanilla you're going to get that musk it has a little bit of warmth to it but it's also very light very airy i think of beautiful amazing fresh out the shower skin when I think about this I love to wear it to the gym I literally <laughs> that's to be sprayed it spray all over under my arms all down my leg I'm first of all I over apply scents not to the point where it's egregious because I know what I'm doing with a scent I will not over apply a loud scent but when it comes to skin mists like this I love them for bedtime i love them for the gym i love them for um when i can't decide if i want to be seen heard before i'm seen <laughs> or when i um i can't decide on a bedtime scent i usually go one of brazilian one of the uh so de janeiro scents and this chiro to 68 with the brazilian jasmine and that pink dragon fruit is right up my alley it's just the sheer vanilla in there for me. Now, I will say with this sit, I'm spraying you guys. Don't kill me. Mm. With this sit, it's slightly juicy, slightly fresh. I'm going to tell you, this does not last as long as the um, vanilla one, which I think is Chiro to 62, I want to say, as the vanilla skin mist. I mentioned it in a video before. I'll link that one down below. That one lasts like a perfume. This one is more like a body mist. I'm going to get Again, two, maybe three hours of wear, depending on what else I'm applying with this. And what I mean is it depends on the body butter or the lotion that I use this with. Or if I put down like a solid oil before I use it, I could get three hours out of this. But I'm not wearing this for longevity. I'm putting this on to smell fresh, beautiful, girly in the moment. And then move on my day, right? <laughs> I will wear this, go to the gym. Work out, spray this all over me, come home, take a shower, put on my, my signature scent or whatever scent I'm wearing for that day. So I really enjoy this. Not as like a filler perfume, but just like a quick throw on, right? This is a sure fire and I wear it throughout, throughout the year. I wear it to the gym no matter what. I also have one other gym perfume that I will share in another video that I'm like my other go-to gym perfume. Um, but Yes, she's doing it. Uh, and when I say gym perfume, I've recently and over my life have waxed and waned in and out of like being serious about my fitness. And I think that's like true for a lot of people. Um, but for me, I'm like really on a kick right now. And when I go to the gym, I have to smell good. I know you're saying, I know what you're saying. You're saying you're going to go, you're going to get sweaty. You don't need to smell good. No, no, no. I do need to smell good. Yes, I do. <laughs> Those are my scents. Those are the affordable scents. They're long lasting and also are just beautiful and will get you your bang for your buck. You don't have to spend a lot to smell good, okay? With that being said, if you like videos like this, please like this video. Subscribe to the tribe because we are growing and it's showing. <laughs> and please feel free to click the link in the description to find more videos like this. My name is Azalea. This is Avenor Azalea. Peace!